to the Nexus. I am Kev Key. Today we're going to be looking at issue 135 of the Star Trek Starship Collection. It's Dallas Delta Flyer. Uh, here it is in the box. We'll have a little look. Before we go any further, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So, let's have a little look at Dallas Delta Flyer. Uh, it's effectively a cargo ship. But it does have a top uh, top speed of warp nine, um, even though it looks it looks a bit shabby. <laughs> uh, here is um, Dala's uh, Delta Flyer, and as you can see, it actually looks nothing like the Delta Flyer. Um, we have a lot of in-universe information, so it's a bit run down. It's a bit shabby there. Con artists. Uh, we get um, some nice some nice views here from the episode. Uh, we also get a nice view here. Of it next to an alien ship. I'm not entirely sure what the ship was called, uh, though it says it in the in the magazine, but I can't re remember. Um, then we have obviously our plan view, which I really like about these uh, these books. So we get this sort of uh, view thing here. So we have um, we have at the bottom there we have the side. In the middle we have the top, and then we have the back of the front of the ship as well. So obviously all in in universe information. Then we come on to designing Della's Delta Flyer. Uh, so there's two designs here that they went with. This uh, top one here at the top where it says designing, that's obviously uh, the first one that they went for. It looks um, boxy. Uh, it looks all, it looks more stealthy than it does anything else. And then we went with the cargo ship that we got. Uh, then in the book we also come on to Star Trek Voyager Season 6 Visual Effects. So this uh, section here goes into more in depth on um, how they came up and what the show was required for Season 6 on the digital side of it. So how they come up with a lot of the digital effects because um, obviously they were using more and more and more as the season went on. Uh, then we come on to here. So obviously Adala's Delta Fly appears in Live Fast and Prosper, uh, which, uh, the, uh, which is a Voyager episode, sorry. It says Voyager now, I don't know why I said that. Um, yep, yeah, so it's about these con artists who go around and selling memberships and stealing stuff, but using um, the Federation as as their sort of as their sort of con. Anyway, uh, remember to click to subscribe. We've already uh, done a review on issue 136, so please go and check that out. That would be absolutely fabulous. Um, anyway. Should we get and out? Here is the Delta Flyer out of the box. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's definitely a cargo ship, um, as you can see. Um, it's very... It's not... I mean, it stays in a lot better than some ships but it does move about a bit so just be a bit careful where you display it if it's going to get knocked it might it might decide to try and fly uh, anyway that is that is us uh, let's just take some closer looks so it's got a very Starfleet uh, patterning along the top oh, I've just noticed that it's got like um mine here has got a scuff mark but I like that because it's I don't know if that's on everyone's model um it doesn't look like it, it is it looks like it's on mine but it looks nice as in it's it's giving it a little bit of uh of damage which is what the ship sort of it was sort of banged about and stuff like that uh but like i said the patterning on the top this sort of um panel camo that it has uh, that a lot of the federation ships have it has actually all over it it's very plain at the bottom Though we have some designs here, as in terms of die cast, the, the, the bottom section here is all die cast. These are obviously uh, plastic, but this bit isn't. Uh, it even has the a Federation sort of logo. So at some point when they decided to con them like this, they turned the ship to make it look more Federation, more Starfleet-y. Uh, we have these... Um, these blue sections here for the engines there's a lot of blue and a lot of red on this as well uh, as you can see on this cargo unit here I do believe these are cargo units as well um, but yeah we have the backs of the engines here and then we have the front which is red which is very reminiscent of uh, Federation design 
uh, it has this obviously the red strip that runs down here and obviously on both sides it has the uh, the Starfleet emblem and what you would find on the engines um, I do believe the deflector dish is behind uh, this dome section here and I think the bridge is along the front here um, yeah it's once again it's it's very I've put some really nice detailing on it on here as well with here and these little wires that are coming out here there they're really nice coming out this little junction box here uh, like I said the, the paint and the the detail application is getting so much better with every model that they bring out and if you look at some of the older versions of ships and stuff uh, they, they do really seem quite basic in terms of uh, paint apps and uh, some detailing and as the collection goes on that that process seems to be getting a lot better but uh, I, I really like this ship um, it's one of those ships where if you separate your ships so you have Federation and and an alien um, it's one that would probably sit quite happily in both but it's an alien ship to me so that's the section that I'll be sitting in uh, these little bits here I do believe are the docking latches a docking port latch I think or something like that um, but yeah I'm really happy with the design I'm happy that it's in the uh, in the collection as well anyway that is it from us here at the Nexus make sure you click to subscribe give us a thumbs up and we'll see you at the next video